Well, it's a new day, and let us rejoice and be glad in it. I woke up this morning, and fortunately, my first thoughts went to Jesus, and there were thoughts of gratitude, just gratitude of being alive, that my eyes opened up, and I saw the light. I said, thank you. But sure enough, as soon as I started to pray, here comes a wave of nausea. So immediately I asked for the protection of the angels against the attacks, because that's what it was. I'm protected during the night. I know I am because I ask for it when I'm sleeping. But the moment I'm alert, the moment I'm awake, boom, here they come. But bottom line, I'm grateful. I'm grateful at this moment that I'm here. That's all I have. That's all any of us have is this moment. I have no idea how this day is going to turn out. In fact, I was thinking last night, what, what will I wake up to this morning in the news? Will there have been a tsunami? I mean, I would have heard about it probably before this morning then. Would there have been an, an earthquake? Anything, you know. Um, so many things are volatile now. So many things can happen. There's so much uncertainty. That is is why I keep stressing, I don't have tomorrow. I don't have this evening or even this afternoon. I have this hour now, and I'm grateful for it. And I want to use it for his glory. I really do. Granted, when you are not feeling well and these evil spirits are coming at you, you just have to give that to him. That's all you can give because... You're not very productive. It's impossible. But if our first thoughts are of God, we're on the right track. There's no such thing as getting out of your bed on the wrong side. And if you do, you better just get right back in and get on the right side with Jesus. Because there's no time to waste. Redeem the time and give it back to God.